In this mini lecture, we'll talk about using visual aids during your speech and things and tips that can help you make more effective visual aids. Now, any visual aid should be used to support your speech message. Visual aids should not in any way detract from your verbal message. These should supplement your verbal message and thereby increase your audience's understanding. Now, there are different types of visual aids that you can use, so let's take a look at those. The most common type of visual aid uses technology, such as PowerPoint, Prezi, or other program that incorporates current technology. Now, you do not need to be a technology wizard to create an effective visual aid. The best motto is less is more. There's no need to fill your slides with many pictures and words. All of your slides should support your verbal message. Now, certainly you can have technology-based visual aids, but non-technology-based visual aids can also be effective. These may be an actual item. In the past, I have had students in a face-to-face -face class bring in their fire fighting equipment. These could be models or drawings, could be photographs, as well as charts, tables, or graphs. Of course, in this virtual course, we will predominantly be using technology-based visual aids. So, how do you plan your visual aid? Remember that the point of any visual aid, whether technology or non-technology based, is to increase your audience's understanding. I just can't say this and emphasize this enough. With technology-based visual aids, such as a PowerPoint or a Prezi, you want to give special consideration to how you create your slides. Now, you do not want to read directly from your slides, putting all of the information right there. You want what's on your slides to support, again, your verbal message. So let's think about some design layout to consider. <clears throat> First, you'd want to use a consistent design for each slide. Using different colors, different font sizes, can be a distraction from your actual speech message. Oftentimes, the color that's displayed on your computer screen is not the same as the color that might be displayed through a projector if you were doing a presentation uh, for your job or if you were in a face-to-face -face class and you had to do some type of a presentation. So it's best to use a light background with dark text. And you certainly don't want to put too much information on each slide. I do have some examples that you can look at in D2L about some good examples of technology aids and visual aids and some less uh, effective examples. You want to describe any pictures that you use. Just putting a picture there is not going to be effective. You would want to have a title for that. And pictures are very effective visual aids. You know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, and that is a true statement when you're trying to, again, get the audience to understand your message. You also want to indicate your source on the slide, even if it's just something that you found and it's a Google image. Any information you have about that, you would want to include that in, in small text on the slide. Now, some tips for using presentations. And this would apply, of course, in a virtual class, but also if you are in a face-to-face -face class or having to give a presentation for your job or at some point in the future. You want to remember to talk to your audience. You do not want to face the screen. You want to face your audience. So you should know exactly what is on each slide. And don't just read what's on the board. We can read that. You use a visual presentation as a starting point. Now we all know that there are some shortcomings when it comes to technology and uh, if that does happen, try to avoid apologizing for uh, the presentation, just press on. And of course, if you are in a face-to-face -face and in front of an actual audience and if time permits, you want to be able to leave some time for those question and answer periods. You would want to check your grammar. A presentation is the worst time to see misspellings. And I should note that I did intentionally misspell misspellings. Don't make too many slides and you avoid that kind of slide rush that's at the end, worrying about, oh, I, I have to get through these last 20 slides and I'm going to run out of time. Check your sources on each slide or at the end of your presentation. And again, remember, keep it simple. 
and visual aid is just a tool to help to support your verbal message. Now something that I want to note because oftentimes students will uh, use statistics, which can be very helpful if you are comparing numbers or trying to make a case or showing how uh, something is related to something else. And I think that we've all been in situations where we hear a variety of numbers and it kind of makes our head spin. So we're not even hearing the numbers anymore. We don't remember what it is and we kind of get that deer in the headlight look. If you're using statistics and numbers in your speech, you should make these numbers meaningful. These are not to be used just to make you sound smart or to confuse your audience. So just as you need to choose language that your audience understands, you must also use numbers and statistics in a way that your audience can understand. So using charts and graphs are only meaningful if your audience knowledge is increased. I'll leave you with this representation that I came across. I had a student who was doing an informative speech about the geological time periods and you know when we think about the age of the earth um, numbers that are into the billions are a little difficult to conceptualize and so there are a variety of sources that are available <clears throat> online and what this particular graph does is shows the development of the earth using a 24-hour clock and I won't go through everything but this gives you an idea of how you can take those kind of very large numbers those numbers and statistics that are difficult to get your head around and put use them in a way that the audience can understand so the point of any visual message any visual aid is to increase your audience's understanding and to support your verbal message